everybody welcome back to my channel um, so today we're just gonna do a really quick video uh, this is my Thousand Island dressing that I like to make I want to make some Rubens it's gonna go with another recipe that I filmed for you that I'll be sharing soon um, but bear with me because it is early yet I've only had one cup of coffee but I wanted to make this this morning uh, so it will have time to sit up and develop its flavors uh, until we make dinner tonight so uh, what we're going to have is a cup of mayonnaise, a uh, third a cup of finely diced onion. I actually didn't have any regular onion in the house. I don't know how that happened, but I did have a few scallions left. So I just chopped up a few of those. We have a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Uh, we're going to do three tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup. And my favorite brand is the Primal Kitchen uh, ketchup. It is unsweetened, and so it has no um, artificial or even natural sweeteners in it, and it's my favorite. Um, so, but use whatever sugar-free ketchup you have on hand. Um, three tablespoons of dill pickle relish with two teaspoons of juice. Um, I don't have dill pickle relish, but I have dill pickles. Uh, so what I did was I just chopped those up and um, put those are sitting there in their juice. Uh, about a half a teaspoon of paprika and a little bit of hot sauce. So we'll probably add a little bit of sriracha. I also have the salt and pepper out because we'll kind of taste it and see if we need to add any of that. All right, guys, let me get my bowl together and we'll start throwing all our ingredients in. Okay, so in our bowl, we are going to add our mayonnaise. People have been asking me where I got my measuring cup. Um, I actually found it at a local store, but I did uh, look it up on Amazon. They do sell them. Just put in um, measuring cup with plunger or something like that, and it did come up. So Pampered Chef was the first one that I had gotten. So anyways, um, so there is our mayonnaise. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Okay. Sorry guys. All right, we're gonna go in with our onion. I said that was just some green onion I had. Um, also uh, our garlic, I'm just gonna throw that in there. So um, this is a recipe I adapted from one I found on Pinterest. So I will actually link the original uh, post uh, down below because I wanna give that person credit. I just uh, changed some stuff up and used um, some keto friendly ingredients instead um, and then I'm gonna go in with the juice uh, and the uh, dill pickles that I chopped up all right all right guys and then um, I'm not measuring out my ketchup this bottle is almost empty so we're just gonna eyeball about three tablespoons um, there are different brands of sugar-free ketchup. If you don't have it or maybe you can't find it where you are, um, I would say you could probably just use uh, tomato paste. Um, I don't know, just, uh, let me see. Yeah, tomato paste would probably work. You wouldn't add as much, of course. You could maybe start with like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of it and uh, just kind of guess from there. You might have to add like some other seasonings to it. All right, so we're just gonna kind of give that a little bit of a mix. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna do just a, just a little dab of sriracha just to kind of cut through the fat of the mayonnaise. All right, guys, so see, super easy, and you can see it's already a little bit um, like dressing. That's where that pickle juice comes into play. Uh, I think the other thing she had on there was vinegar that you could add, but I mean, I just, I love pickle juice, so why not? That's what I did the last time, and truly it came out so good. Hopefully I'm not repeating myself too much. All right. All right, guys, so then we're just gonna do um, some, I have some smoked paprika. She had sweet paprika. I It's paprika, I don't know, this is what I'm going in with. So again, I'm not gonna measure it, but it's a, I think a half a teaspoon is what the recipe called for. So we're just gonna throw some of that in there. Give that a little stir. All right, um, so that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. I mean, that took me like, I don't know, not even five minutes, I don't think. I actually chopped up everything last night because, um, like I said, I knew I wanted to, to share this video with you and I didn't want to trust myself with a knife. Um, it doesn't need any salt. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in it, but that's it. So I will uh, write down the ingredients and put that in the description below, but make yourself up a batch of Thousand Island, gang. Let me know what you think, all right? And stay tuned for that other video that'll go with this. Take care, peace out, have an excellent day.